Have you been paying extra on your mortgage or maybe did you start this year with the financial goal of paying a little extra on your mortgage? Well, listen, it's time to pivot that strategy if you have a low interest rate on your mortgage. I will give you three alternatives to do with that money instead. I've got that more coming up. My name is Mike Bernard. I'm the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Cohorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Guys, one year ago, at the time I'm recording this, 30-year mortgage rates were 3%, below 3%. Today, as I'm recording them, it is, they're almost 8%, over 7%. Guys, so if you had a mortgage or you refinanced back at the beginning of the year or before 1-1 of 2022, you have a phenomenal interest. Turns out you have a phenomenal interest rate on your mortgage. And we all thought that and felt that at the time, but it feels even more true when you see mortgage rates absolutely skyrocketing with, guys, no short-term end in sight. So, if you've got a if you've gotten a mortgage recently or getting one right now and you're up in that six and a half seven percent time frame this doesn't apply to you and you got to work with your certified financial planner to see all right what's the approach to paying that down or refinancing in the future blah 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 what's your approach to budgeting and everything else but for those of you that have had a mortgage your mortgage your mortgage originated before mortgage rates skyrocketed and you're at a two and a half a three a three and a half percent Guys, if you had a goal of paying extra on your mortgage, even if it was $100 a month or a couple hundred a month or paying a chunk down with a bonus or a tax refund, it's time to rethink that strategy, okay? Your financial life is unique to you. It is. And that's there's no one size fits all. So it's very possible you should continue making those extra mortgage payments. But if that's what you had planned on doing before, you've got to work with your certified financial planner and confirm now that the world is wildly different than it was even just a few months ago, you've got to confirm that's still the right strategy. I was meeting with an individual just recently where they've, been, they've had some extra cash on hand for a home remodel that... Um, they even did a refinance uh, a while back that actually got some extra cash out. And, and through that and saving up, they've had extra money for this remodel that they've always said, and we've always planned for, if you don't use this money, if the remodel doesn't happen or you, or, or you use cash flow to do it, then we'll just take this chunk and put it on the mortgage to get the mortgage paid off quicker. Guys, their mortgage is at 2.5%. This $90,000 that they've got that the plan had been to put on the mortgage no longer makes sense and it's time to reconsider and pivot that strategy. So if that's you, or if you had planned on or were paying extra on your mortgage, but you now find that your 3% mortgage or 3.5% mortgage is wildly cheap, consider doing something else with that money. First, and this is the case for these individuals that I just mentioned, build up that emergency fund. Build up that emergency fund. Right now, their, their savings account, where they had this 90 grand, I had told them about using a high interest, uh, high yield money market account. Uh, again, my three rules for that are, it needs to be FDIC insured, it needs to be liquid, it needs to be free. After that, go out and get the best interest rate possible. And it turns out this 90,000 for them was sitting in the savings account. They hadn't taken my advice on using a, a high yield money market. And so we pulled up their savings account interest and it was earning 0.2%. The high yield savings account, and again, at the time I'm recording this, it could be very different by the time you watch it, but if it was paying 2.15%. And there's, there's ones out there that are paying more than that right now. So there's some opportunity costs here keeping that money where it was. We took a look at their overall financial life, the prospect of us heading into recession if we're not already in one and the potential impact of that and said, listen, at some point in the future, you may use this do these dollars for, um, for some other reason coming up, but right now let's bolster that emergency fund with these dollars to make sure that that emergency fund is fully stocked just in case we do come upon some financial hard times or you have a different emergency that comes up or something like that. So number one, if you've been paying extra on your mortgage and now that doesn't financially seem like such a wise thing with rates, uh, if your rate is, is, is terribly, is very low, consider or make sure that you've bolstered, you've, you've increased your emergency fund to its full potential. 
Second thing to do, instead of paying extra on a low interest rate mortgage, is to make sure that you're funding all of your appropriate tax shelters. Now, here's where this comes up. If you've had this scenario, and Dave Ramsey even talks about this with his, uh, with his seven baby steps. If you've been in the, in the scenario where you calculate how much you should be saving for retirement, say it's 15%, and you're saving that amount for retirement and funding your tax shelters, maybe your Roth IRA, your 401k, that sort of thing, and you're funding your tax shelters, and then you've got extra resources that you could spend or you could save up, you could whatever, maybe those extra dollars, that's what you've been putting on the mortgage. And right now, with interest rates, if you've got a very low interest mortgage, maybe you shouldn't do that. Then you go back and say, well, should you overfund your tax shelters? If your financial plan says you should be saving 15%, but you've got extra resources, max out those tax shelters. Maybe take it from 15% to whatever it would require to max it out. Some of you listening are saying, well, yeah, I already maxed out my 401k. Well, okay, instead of paying extra on your mortgage and avoiding a 2.5% interest rate, should you max your Roth IRA? Should you do a backdoor Roth? Should you max out your HSA? Should you do a shoebox strategy for your HSA where you invest it and uh, instead of spending it and you use this extra cash that instead of going on the mortgage goes to be your, your health expense fund so that your HSA can be invested and grow and save up for the long term. So, so consider all of your tax shelters, maximize your tax shelters instead of paying extra on a low interest mortgage. And then finally, guys, and this one is unpopular at the moment, but you've got to consider, you've got to consider if instead of extra dollars going on a low interest mortgage, possibly, if you've already maxed out all your tax shelters, your emergency fund is fully capped and your delayed spending is, you know, all the savings is, you know, topped off, then consider investing those dollars in just a regular brokerage account instead. Well, why could this, why is this unpopular at the moment? Well, obviously the stock market is having some very challenging times as it's grappling with the Fed needing to be mean to fight inflation, something that they should have done a long time ago, but uh, th those are different videos. We've had plenty of those. But right now, even though stocks might not be cheapest, they are cheaper. They are cheaper. In long term, these could be very attractive buying opportunities. And instead of paying an extra $100 on your mortgage every month, what if an extra $100 went into a brokerage account and was invested? Buying shares at these low prices that very possibly could get lower before they get higher, but long term, you'd be buying at pretty low or manageable PE levels and one day be able to sell at a higher price. Now, You'd be buying on a monthly basis if you did that. And if things did get worse in the stock market before they got better, you'd be able to buy even more shares when those prices temporarily declined or during that capitulation phase that is sort of a hallmark for marking a, a stock market bottom. So I would consider that even before paying an extra hundred dollars or a couple hundred dollars or something extra on a low interest mortgage. So has that been your plan? to pay extra on your low interest mortgage. It's very possible you have a goal of freeing up your cash flow, like not having that mortgage payment by a certain date. You wanna retire by a certain date, and in order for your retirement to work, you need to be free from that monthly mortgage obligation. If that's the case, this, this still may make sense, but work with your certified financial planner, confirm that that still makes sense. And for the rest of you, double check, confirm before you put extra money onto a mortgage that's at a low interest rate that maybe you took out and originated before 1-1 of 2022, you, the world has changed, especially with interest rates. So work with your certified financial planner. See if that's still the wise choice. If you don't have a CFP that can help you with that, you can contact us. Find us on uh, online at corhorn.com. That's corhorn with K. Wisemoneyshow.com. You can find us there as well or send us an email, info at corhorn.com. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.